At moments like this, when I have to brush off the WTAQ vehicle, I think to myself, man, it sure would be nice if I had some mittens. Luckily, I do. However, there's some kids in Northeast Wisconsin who aren't so lucky. That's why the Green Bay Gamblers are helping kids that don't have mittens get mittens. You know, this still isn't great with mittens, but... One of the teachers was telling me her kids had no mittens, and they don't get monies for that kind of thing in the schools. And they're like, can you help us with that? And so it got us thinking, and I'm like, where can we get a lot of mittens from a lot of people who care? So you want to put on a game and you want it to be a mitten toss. I'm like, yep, when they score. And he said, okay. We only had one game where we thought we may have to throw the mittens out on a not score because we were almost to the end of the game, but it worked. But it has raised over 15,000 pairs of mittens. This year alone, just here, it was over 900. <laughs> 11 years, this is our 11th year. So we think we're doing amazing. And in fact, we even had like a little scare last year where nobody could get in the building and we still got 400 pairs of mittens. People left them in front. We had a great pre-sale, uh, but again, the weather did keep some people away. So disappointed in that regard. You know, this is an event usually that, you know, on average we get 3,000 plus. Tonight, you know, we're not gonna hit that. But uh, still, you know, collected over 911 mittens. Um, and, and, you know, that, that's a positive. <laughs> Still a great event, and, and obviously we'll continue this uh, moving forward. We're about giving back. You know, whether it be mittens, teddy bears, money, it's important that we give back to the community that supported us since 1994, 26 years.